So yeah, this is it. Uh, my bike is ready, all packed. I had a nice breakfast. Uh, I try, try to move out from Lisbon. Um, dead. Well, it's almost 12 o'clock now, so I won't, I won't go fat today. Um, the plan is just to get out of Lisbon, uh, get out of the south skirts, you know. Just, uh, I think I'm gonna have to take two boats to reach that uh, to save some time. So I'm gonna take a boat right now. And well, I'm like literally two kilometers away from the port. And I'm gonna have to ride for about 30 kilometers and then take a boat again. Otherwise, I'll have to do a loop and go through the mountains, and it's about 200 kilometers, which makes no sense. So I'll take two boats just to get out of Lisbon because it's, it's going to be very difficult. It was difficult to get into here and it's going to be more difficult to get out of here. So yeah, um, let's see how that goes. Cycle 32 kilometers. I was thinking, I still can see Lisbon. Just zoom in for you. Right there. It is massive. On the maps, it's about um, 60, 60, 70 kilometers long. So if you want to cross all Lisbon, it will be 100 kilometers easy, you know, because it's not gonna go straight. It's 100 kilometers easy. So. To go from one end of Lisbon to another end in one day on a bike. Yeah, it is possible if you're if you're gonna do 24 hour ride. But well, like I say, it's massive. It's massive. For Portugal, it's so big, very big. So everything is going smooth today. <laughs> it's a bad sign, it's a bad sign and if if you start the day <laughs> really well. It's gonna end really, really bad. I've noticed that. Anyway, it's going smooth today. I have arrived to, to the port. As you can see, I'm getting a boat. I just arrived and they said the, the boat is leaving in 10 minutes. So here it's just, uh, just arrived. So yeah, um, I have cycled about 44 kilometers so far. Not sure how many kilometers I will cheat with a boat. Let's call it that way, cheat, because I don't want to go 200 kilometers round. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a boat. and there's like um, every hundred meters there's a side road to the sea but it's all sand so I was just going and I was just waiting maybe I'll find a, a big one but no there's only sand and it's obviously it's not rideable because my bike can go straight there into that side so I'm gonna push my bike to the sea have a swim I hope it's not gonna be too much effort I'm gonna have a swim Keep going. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit too early to start camping. 
bit too early. I've got miles to do. I've got miles to do. But uh, oh, I got. It would be amazing to put my tent up in here. It's just it's such an amazing place. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit a little too much effort to push the heavy bike through that sand. I said we're not happy, but um, but I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, I can see the sea now. Should be sand the beach definitely. Can't wait to swim. I have done a mistake by bringing that bike down. It's too much effort for me to drag that bike down the hill through sand. So I have no idea how I'm gonna drag it up. You know, it's just it's just sinking in sand. It's so heavy. I'm so close to the water though, so I'm not sure what to do. Come on, but I can't leave my bag just here. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Not sure. It's still, I'm still not sure if it's if it was worth because I know it's gonna be pain to drag that bike with that sand up the hill now. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, part of the trip. So nice. I'm really surprised that uh, they grow rice in Portugal. This is actually a rice field, as you can see, so close to the sea. Yeah, it's flooded with water. Well, 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 look at me, look at where I got myself into a um, camping place. This is supposed to be a, a proper camping place. They've got um, <laughs> burgers. They got a uh, pizza place, they've got a bar with pool. It's, it's actually close to the sea, it's just like bang on the seas. Um, everything, everything. So I just checked in and I'm uh, gonna go to Tent Town. They've got a special town for tents. They call it Tent Town. It's quite big, I can tell it now. It's quite big. So yeah, let's go. Let's go and have a look. I'm gonna make a few videos. <laughs> You know when I say in my videos that I feel like I have arrived, so I've got the feeling again. So <laughs> I had that feeling in Lisbon. Now it's just I've just been to Lisbon today, and today I have arrived again. I don't know. It's going really, really slow. So I thought it's just going to be a regular, regular camp, but apparently it's uh, one of the famous camps in the world. It's like five camps like this in the world, and uh, people coming like from all over the world. So just. Uh, Found some, some some Russians guys to hang out with. So it's it's amazing. This place is just amazing. So I'm definitely gonna stay for a few more nights. Uh, I've got all the time in the world anyway. So so yeah. More dates coming soon. So I found I found myself a team. Um, it's gonna be the, the game is Flunky Ball. It's a drinking game. There's a you, you need to have a team. Uh, there's a seven seven members in a team. And basically, all you need to do is like drink, drink really fast, as fast as you can. And basically, yeah, you, you, you get the drift. So yeah, so see how it goes. See how it goes. So I got the team now. I got the team. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, there's another thing uh, on my on my to-do list tomorrow. Um, surfing, learning surfing. Um, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to Morocco to learn surfing, <laughs> and I found this place accidentally. And uh, right, this 
He said they're a really, really nice place for beginners, yeah. The, the boards are free, wetsuits are free. You have to pay for their lessons though, but you don't need a lesson, you just cash your wave and try your best. So, yeah, um, I found some guys, basically, they, they're quite good surfers, so they're gonna teach me, they're gonna teach me for free. So, cool. Um, <laughs> everything's free, man, everything's free. Um, boards free, wetsuits free. Um, Food as much as you eat as much as you like, no worries for free. And the beer is cheap, so yeah. Why not to stay? Why not to stay for a couple of days? Why not to stay for a couple of days? Give me a reason. I can't give one. Aye. Aye. That's what we're gonna drink now. Boxes in the middle. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drink that beer in no time now. I'll play hard. Point of my trip. I have, uh, I have cycled um, two thousand, cycled two thousand and six hundred kilometers. And only with a cycle two thousand and six hundred kilometers. Only now this is the highest point of my trip so far. The highest point of my trip. So normally where I'm going, I know what I'm going. Like way off the chain, off the chain, man. We're having another round. We're having another round. Yeah, revenge time. Revenge. Don't you know?